And then we're going to turn this off. Yeah. I got the alert in. Turn it in. So we're gonna wait, wait for people to gather. Is that just because you rotate, or is it like fucked? No, I think it's just lagging and rotate. Should look okay. Here, let me just check it over here. Come one, come all, <laughs> to the CD show. It looks, it looks good. Yeah. Two video views. Let us know if you're here. Anybody saying hi? <laughs> they might be picking up that. Your output, actually. No, I think there's just a, a lag. I mean, from when, when the sound coming out of your phone will get picked up by the mic. Oh. Hello. Future cop. Future cop. Come on, come on to the CD show. It's the CD show. We're going to play Future Cop on CD. <laughs> even if nobody joins or even if one person joins, we're still gonna we're still just gonna do this thing and then in the future make sure you guys tune in because we're gonna be showing off all sorts of different things you can do with CD all sorts of different games um, we'll show you how it looks uh, we'll have a good time come one come all to the CD show <laughs> Give it one more minute. We'll get started. One more minute. We'll get started. Okay. So who gets alerts? Of anybody, anybody who's following the page, or maybe anybody that's liked it. Okay. Would have we don't gotten have that the, many followers yet. We gotta build. We gotta build. The must build here. the following. You must be the following. All right, we're gonna get going. So we're here showing off CD. It's day one of the CD Indiegogo campaign. Tuesday, November. Uh, September. September. Correction. Nineteenth. And we're gonna get started. And we got the game Future Cop here. Awesome PlayStation game, 1998. Um, really cool, a lot of action, awesome graphics. Um, multiplayer game, we're gonna do just a single player demo right now, but multiplayer game, they have different, different modes. So, get my, get my game here, put my case out of the way, and let's rock. So this CD system that we have here, hooked up to my 43-inch um, TV, I get HDMI and power going in, I get my Bluetooth controller hooked up. And 
we still get through that. CDI. Oh, hey, Rodney. Um, CDI actually um, was one console that we experimented with a bunch and um, didn't get working well to the point where we thought it was going to be fun. And uh, after playing a bunch of those games, we the decision was made that those games do not need to be played anymore. Those games are terrible. So, I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff. Actually, you know what? Hang on a second. Angel gave you this. X1 Alpha, you got yourself a code seven. Nice work, Bucky. Now where was I? Oh yeah. Mutants, gangsters, chemlords, whacked out cyborgs. CGI really seemed like a cool, cool system. Um, and uh. It would have been neat, but again, I don't think the playability is there. So look, we get Alien Gate. This is a crappy um, shoot 'em up game. It's a terrible game, but it was available on on uh, CDI. I've got an international tennis open. It's a tennis game, but it's it's just it's just so bad. All these games are so bad. And if you go and you watch any videos about these games, they're just so bad. And I mean. I, I, I think it's a cool system. I love the idea. I love the throwback. Look at this. I got National Parks Tour um, CDI and Photo CD. And I got Treasures of the Smithsonian. So this is like Microsoft Encarta, basically. You know, like these reference, kind of like hybrid, like pre-internet CD-ROMs with all this crazy stuff on them. And uh, awesome in concept, but the technology that they used was just not good and the software was just not was just not good at all so um, please let me know what uh what cdi titles you're interested in um i'd be really curious just to find out and you know the future there's all sorts of stuff in the future oh you okay the zelda game you know i mean i want to play the zelda game too but there's so many other games so again, the, the, the system supported on CD, on um, you know CD, our CD, retro gaming system, we've got PlayStation 1, uh, Sega CD, um, TurboGrafx CD, which is like the CD add-on for TurboGrafx-16, also known as PZ Engine CD, um, in Japan and other parts of the world, and then um, Neo Geo CD. So four CD systems that are supported in our initial lineup. And... Um, so here we, here we are in uh, Future Cop. So we're gonna do some single player. This is X1 Alpha, LAPD's best and this is reading directly off the disc. Crime. CD didn't the like take five minutes to make a backup or anything like that. It's just boom, ready to go immediately. And survive. X1 Alpha can go almost anywhere. When precise movement and, uh, is required, I hope that the audio is coming through okay. When you're under fire, um, your let us know if we've got audio problems. Apart from talking if you've too loud, really got a motor, press the change that target and action bit. buttons at the same time. Voila. We're gonna skip the tutorial here, and we're gonna do the crime war. Skill level normal, and um, it's gonna jump in to the zone. X1 Alpha, X1 Park. Alpha, code three. Proceed to the observatory. Officers are down. Hostile air and armor units confirmed. Any other questions? Be advised, civilians are caught in the crossfire, and the oh, situation thanks, is rated X. That's why we need you, darling. Your target is one Miles Mysterio. He's converted the park telescope into a plasma cannon. Gets his kicks bringing down commercial aircraft. Thanks Night a lot, two Miles. This morning. The department wants this assassin taken out. Take That's out. a code 7X. No assistance needed. He's okay. all yours. Yeah. All right, Miles. So I'm going with a default loadout on my uh, LAPD. Alright, this game is so cool. Alright, let's take care of, take care of basically all these guys in here. And this, game, this game's got all sorts of cool camera angles going on. Um, let's get close up. Look at, look at these, look at all the attention to detail in this game. It's so cool. And so this is running at 1080p, 
on my TV. Um, I mean, my TV supports 4K, but uh, 1080p, this is what really looks the best. And um, what you'll see is the is that CD automatically has uh, aspect ratio um, correction going on. So basically, what that means is you don't the screen isn't like stretched out, which really messes up the way that these games look. That's not how they were designed. They were designed for a 4-3 screen almost 100% of the time. Um, and so, so just out of the gate, that's there. And as well, um, we've got a, but by default, there's a bilinear filter um, applied to the video output, which smooths things out a little bit. It gets rid of the kind of weird pixels because again, like PlayStation 1 not designed to be like pixel perfect. It's, you know, it's got a RCA video output. Um, so this kind of makes it look almost like in a weird way, like better, like we aren't doing any enhanced resolution stuff here, but it's like, it looks like better than a real PS1 would look on a CRT in, in my opinion. We've gotten some good feedback on that. I gotta, I gotta focus on this. I was just asking a little while ago, can you run over, can you step on the people? So I, I owe him the answer to that question. Oh, there's a ramp. Oh, I see people. Straight back to him. Alright, can I, control crowd control. Situation. Can I run over the people? Yeah! <laughs> oh yeah. Crowd control. Future cap. I wonder, um, so I can find some power ups. Okay. So, I don't, I'm not, I'm not claiming to be the expert at this game or anything like that. You haven't noticed. I'm probably actually gonna die. And this is like a good score. Let's see if I can find uh, some health power ups. Chris, how are we doing for time? Uh, I see a timer on here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, what we're doing with these videos is we're just gonna be, again, showing off different things that CD can do and um, why it's so cool. And actually there was a question on our Facebook page and, and um, somebody made a, a, a good comment about how, you know, how cheap a Raspberry Pi is. I think Raspberry Pi 3 is 35 bucks. And, um, reload. Alright. Um, but basically, I mean the thing that really differentiates CD from just a straight $35 Raspberry Pi is the fact that everything is just going to be ready to go. Um, and it has the built-in CD-ROM drive, um, and it's going to be you know, custom tailored for playing these retro games. And um, again, RetroPie is an awesome setup, I think you know, that's a totally legit way of doing it if you want to do that yourself. Um, but this is you know, fully automated. Um, kind of more like a out-of-the-box, ready-to-go solution for playing all these games. Um, and, uh, and that's what we're going to stand behind. And also, you know, it comes with a uh, Bluetooth controller. Um, and uh, what else? What else do we do? Oh, a DVD player. I know DVD isn't like... Oh my god. I know DVD isn't like... 
you know, the main thing right now, but I think the, the fact of the matter is that a lot of people have a ton of DVDs, and it's like, probably, I, I think it's a lot more accessible of a format than Blu-ray, just because of how many people have, you know, existing DVD collections and stuff, um, and it's really, you know, it's like, if you're going to recommend a movie to a friend, like, there's really no better way than just being like, oh, here, borrow my DVD. Um, so we're excited about the DVD and multimedia stuff. And again, all that's going to be ready to go out of the box. Alright, I've kind of gotten lost and distracted here. So I think we're going to call it, uh, call that the demo. Don't worry, we'll be back. Um, we'll be doing this as often as possible. It took us a long time to set this up tonight, just because, uh, you know, obviously the first time doing it for real. Um, but, you know, best case, we'll do this every day. Um, Worst case, every couple days. Oh, okay. Intruder alert. How much ammo do I have? I give you so much ammo in this game. And then Ron is going to answer your question about the limited green council having a better controller. We'll look into that, but right now the plan is to follow the standard black and everything. But we um, will look into that in the back. So again, this is the real deal. This is me playing CD. Um, you know, no uh, smoke and mirrors going on here. Like, and, and we'll just, you know, keep showing off the different things. If you guys want to see other stuff, please uh, post on our Facebook page. And uh, if you've got any requests for games you want to see, or um, you know, any other questions you might have, we're more than happy to talk about that stuff. And. Um, and then also what, I, what I'm really looking forward to is just going through a collection of just a different bunch of different games that I have. Um, you know, there's so many games. Uh, PlayStation 1 especially just has so many games. And, um, you know, there's some gems. I mean, there's, you know, there's the obvious classics and really well-known games. And then there's, you know, hidden gems. And then there's a lot of games that are, that are basically bad, but they're, like, good in their badness. And so um, I've got uh, Star Wars Masters of Terras Kasi, which is a, a Star Wars fighting game um, that we're going to show off one night. Um, uh, we'll we get some cool sports games, um, and I got some cool Japanese uh, imports. And again, uh, CD also region free, um, so uh, you know, no, no work to be done there. You can just get your games from, uh, from anywhere. Um, it's really fun looking at the, some of the game stores in Japan and imported games, so definitely uh, something we think is really cool we wanted to make sure it was good. Alright, so we're going to call it the demo. Um, pause the game. Anybody that tuned in tonight, thanks so much for watching. We're going to put up the video on, uh, on YouTube later, um, and we'll kind of keep an archive of the different things we're showing off. So I guess the purpose of this demo is just to show CDs, show how it looked, um, and, uh, you know, show some PlayStation 1 action. Again, here we, here we got it standing up in the vertical stand. Um, you can also lay it flat. And, uh, and it's just a nice little unit. Um, and we're really proud of how, it, how it's come out so far. So I think that's it. We're going to stop the stream. And uh, please tune in for all other videos. Um, please share as much as you can the link to the, uh, to our Facebook page, um, share the campaign as much as possible. Tell your friends, if you know any other gamers, um, tell them all about what we're doing here. Um, we think that there's so many of these games that have existed and, um, and like, you know, right now SNES and, uh, NES really are having their moment in Sega Genesis and and a lot of those games also work on CD um, but you know CD-ROM games were this, this totally um, amazing thing that happened and uh, and they've kind of not gotten the love that they deserve so that's what we're all about okay thanks again guys um, have a good night peace